Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm taking a look at Lead Monster. So, what exactly is Lead Monster? Well, Lead Monster is a web based software that allows you to create pop ups that you can then put on your own website or your own web pages. Now, anybody who has followed my blog, followed my reviews, or followed my website for any length of time has probably noticed that this is not the first pop-up software that I have reviewed. And you might be wondering why I keep reviewing pop-up software. And the reason I keep reviewing pop-up software is because pop-up software is a very good tool for somebody to have. Pop-ups just work. I mean, there is a reason why almost every big name popular site has some type of pop-up on it. In fact, there are actually three main reasons why people use pop-ups. The first one is as a last chance to capture a lead. So somebody comes to your website, they look around for a little bit, and just like about 60 or 70 percent of all the people that visit your website, they bounce away right away. They're about to leave your site. Well, a pop-up gives you one last chance to try to grab their attention and maybe redirect them somewhere else or maybe get them to opt into your list so that way you can try to get them to come back to your site later or promote to them later. The pop-up is your last ditch effort to capture that traffic and capture that visitor before they bounce away forever. That actually leads to the second main reason, which is to get a site visitor to opt in. So even somebody that's not bouncing around, they're enjoying your site, they're viewing your site, you have to remember that they might forget about you. They may have really liked your website, but the internet is fast paced. They might not ever come back. They might just forget. So if you put a pop up over one of your articles or reviews or one of your content pages, you can try to capture that visitor so that way you can send them similar content later. And if they'd enjoyed your content, if they've enjoyed your post or your article, the chances are they are going to opt in. This has a really nice additional advantage in that Google will be indexing your content, but it's also kind of a squeeze page because it has that opt-in pop-up on it. The final reason is to push people on your site over to a specific page. So if there is a specific page that you want people to end up on, which is say a money page, then you can use a pop-up to kind of push people over to that specific page. For example, on my personal blog, I have reviews and I also have a training section and I have a freebie section. Well, maybe I want to push people over to the reviews. So I could put a pop-up in the freebie section that will try to kind of coerce people to get over to the review area so that way they can start seeing my reviews. Okay, so let me go ahead and log into my Lead Monster account and we will take a look at the software together. So one of the first things that I always look for when I log into a new software to test it is I look for the tutorials and I look for the help. Not that I'm actually going to watch the tutorials because I'm like most people, uh, I don't want to watch them, I just want to dive right into them. But I do want to be able to see that they're actually there for me if I need assistance. And in Lead Monster, there's actually a couple of ways to get assistance if you need it. They have this quick start guide right here. They have this FAQ section right here. And they also have this really cool tab on the right hand side that you can click to get support and email their support if you need to. So there's quite a few ways to get assistance if you need it. Uh, but like I said, just like most people, I'm actually not even going to look at the tutorials. I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into it and start using it. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on create new campaign. Now it's going to ask me to enter a name for my campaign and I can enter anything I want. This is just for my reference only. So I'm going to call it my test. And then it's going to ask me what kind of campaign I want to create. And there are several options. I can create a little mini landing page. I can create an opt-in form. I can create a video pop-up, a webinar pop-up, a yes, no pop-up, a niche pop-up, a small pop-up, or if I really want to, I can create a custom template from scratch. Uh, you probably won't have to create a custom template uh, because there are quite a few templates for each of the categories. So these are the, the landing page templates right here, and then the opt-in form templates. There are a bunch of them the video templates, there's quite a few video templates, 
uh, yes, no templates. Uh, there's just a ton of templates in here. There's really no reason to, you will need to create your own template. Uh, and that's actually really good because most of us aren't really that artistic or aren't that or aren't that very well graphically inclined. So it's really cool that they have all of these templates here for you. There's actually, I think, over a hundred templates here for you. Now, for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and create a, a yes, no pop-up. This kind of pop-up would actually be used for the third reason that I described earlier. This type of pop-up would be used to redirect somebody to a specific page on my website. So what a yes, no pop-up is going to do, it's going to pop up, grab their attention, and ask them would they be interested in something, yes or no. If they click no, then the pop-up closes and then they continue reading that particular website or that particular blog post. If they say yes, it redirects them over to a page that provides them with that thing that I asked them if they were interested in. Now I have quite a few templates to choose from. I actually like this one right here. So I'm going to click on it and press the proceed button. So now I'm actually in the editor where I can edit and customize this template and make it exactly the way I want it. And editing the template is very simple. You just mouse over the elements and then there's a little button here where you can click to edit that particular element. So if I want to go ahead and edit the text, I can use the simple WYSIWYG editor to edit the text. If I want to edit things that are graphical or that have more options other than text, for example, this blue box here, if I want to make it a red box so it matches my blog, I can just go ahead and click on the option setting right there. So you can see I can have a background image, I can select from the library of backgrounds that they want, I can pick a gradient color, or I can pick a solid color if I want. I just want a solid color that matches my block, so I'm going to go ahead and change this and change it to a red color and click on Apply. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this pop-up on my own blog in the freebie section. I'm going to do exactly what I said. I'm going to try to use this to redirect people over to the review section. I have a lot of people that come from an organic traffic that go to the freebie section and what I really want though is for them to watch my reviews and read my reviews. So I'm going to try to use a pop-up to redirect them over to where I actually want them to be on the website. So I need to go ahead and edit this text here obviously so that it matches what I'm trying to offer or what I'm trying to do to people. And again, I can just use this WYSIWYG editor. It's very easy to do. So I will go ahead and update that right now. All right, so I've updated my text. Uh, that took me about 25 or 30 seconds. It was really easy to do. I could have customized it even more. For example, I could have changed the button text if I wanted to. Uh, you can see this is fully customizable. You can change the button text, you can change the font family, the font size, everything is completely customizable in here. It also has something that I actually think is really neat. It has these little animations. So I can change the hover animation and make it little, do a little like uh, animation when people mouse over it. So let me uh, see one that I like here. Let's try pulse. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. Uh, and it just it makes it look a little bit more sharp, a little bit more professional. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add that. And you know what? I'm actually going to add uh, an animation to this as well, to this Get 100% Honest Reviews. I want that to jump out a little bit when the pop-up shows. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and uh, I'm going to pick an animation for that as well. Let's see. I'm going to get a uh, bounce now. I like that rubber band. That's that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna do no time delay. I can add a time delay so that way it happens like after the pop-up starts, which is really good if the pop-up opens and there's kind of a little bit of text in there and you want to point something out, you can make it maybe happen after a second or two. But I want it to happen right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and click on insert. Now as I said, this particular pop-up that I'm creating is to try to redirect people. It's the third usage that I described to try to redirect people over to a specific page inside of my website. So I'm going to obviously need to have a way to redirect them over to my website. And to do that, I need to edit these buttons. So let me go ahead and edit these buttons here. 
what I want to do is change this external URL setting. So I want them to go over to the review section of my website. So I'm going to enter the URL for that review section right in here. Now I also need to enter this no thanks button because I want the no thanks button to close the pop-up. If people say no thanks, I don't want to annoy them. I want them to be able to continue reading whichever post or get the freebie that they're on because this is actually going to go into the freebie section of my website. And I don't want to bug them. I just want to present them with this opportunity to go over to my review section. So I want this no thanks button to close the pop-up. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click the edit button again. I'm going to go down here to the external URL section again, and I'm just going to click on click to close and update that. All right, so I pretty much have my pop up set up the way I want it to. It's been, you know, all of about a minute, and that's with me talking. It could have been less. It doesn't take long at all to make some really nice pop ups. And why this is a yes no pop up, a pop up that's designed to redirect people to a specific page on my website. I can also create on exit pop-ups, I can also create lead capture pop-ups just as easily as I've made this one. In fact, I can guarantee you I'm going to be creating a lead capture on exit pop-up because I'm actually going to be using Lead Monster for one of my sales pages for an upcoming launch. I like it that much that I'm actually going to be using this myself for an on exit pop-up. Uh, but let's go ahead and save this, publish this and take a look at it where I want to do a preview of it and then if everything looks great we'll go ahead and put it on my site and I'll show you how to do that so I'm just gonna click on save and then I'm gonna click on publish and now that it is published you can see I can actually preview it let's go ahead and preview Okay, so everything looks good. My link is working. My no thanks is working. So now the next step is going to be to get it on my actual website. And to do that, I am going to click on the generate script button right here. Now this is going to ask me how I want the pop-up to trigger. And I have a lot of options and the options are available to meet any of the different needs and the different reasons why you're using a pop-up. So I can make it an exit pop-up so when people try to leave the site it shows. I can make it an exit intent. And exit intent means the pop-up triggers when somebody's mouse goes outside of the browser window. Once their mouse starts to go outside of the browser window you can kind of tell that they're pretty much going to be leaving the page because they're probably clicking the back button or typing in a different URL in the browser. So that is exit intent. And of course these types of pop-ups and these types of triggers are designed to collect your bounces to prevent people from bouncing either to keep them on the page or to give them an opportunity to opt into your list so that way you can get them back to your site again later. An inbounce is similar to that, except for it includes people who bounce to another page on your website. So if you don't want people to leave a specific page on your website, you can use the inbounce option. The on load is obvious. It will show the pop-up as soon as the page loads. The on click is going to be uh, when somebody clicks a button inside or a link inside of your page, same thing with the on mouse over, except for all they have to do is hover their mouse over that button or over that link. And the scroll to is going to be when they scroll to a specific portion of your page. So if they scroll halfway down the pop-up triggers or the third of the way down the pop-up triggers. I'm actually going to do this on load. I want people to see this as soon as they come to the freebie section. And again, I'm doing this specifically because I get some Google traffic to my freebie section because, uh, you know, the freebie section has well-written articles that gets me free Google traffic. And I'm trying to redirect them over to the uh, review section of my site. So I want them to see this right away on load with maybe just a little bit of a delay, like 30 seconds or so. So let me go ahead and click on this on load options. And it's going to ask me for the animation that I want. And uh, you know, I just, uh, I'm just gonna have it do this pop animation just cause I think it looks cool. And I'm gonna have it delay 
30 seconds. I want people to be into the site a little bit before I give them the opportunity. I don't want to just hit them up right away. Uh, so I'm going to have it a do a 30 second delay and I'm going to click on the generate code button and all I have to do now is copy this and paste it over inside of my blog post and then my pop-up should show. So let's go over to my blog and give that a try. Okay, so I'm in my personal blog and I'm editing the post for a free Facebook research tool that I have created. And this post gets a pretty decent amount of traffic, but people come, they use the free tool, and then they leave. So I want to redirect them over to my review section. That's why I'm going to be using this pop-up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the text here so I can enter custom HTML text. And all I have to do now is paste in that code that I copied over from Lead Monster. Just paste that right in there. And I'm going to click on update. And we can then view the post and test it out. Now, I did put this on a 30 second delay, and I don't want to just sit here for 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until the pop up actually shows. You know what? And right after I paused the video, the pop up actually went off. And uh, you can see it's showing up really nice. It looks really crisp. It actually looks great inside of my blog. Uh, this is definitely going to grab people's attention. And, uh, you know, they're on my post. They're using the free research tool. And I'm asking them, hey, do you want to get some product reviews? And they can go ahead and click on yes if they're interested and head over to my review section, which is what I'm hoping they'll do. Or if they don't want to, they can click on no thanks, close the pop-up, and go about using my free research tool without me really bothering them too much. Now, this won't show again uh, because that's the way I have it set. I could actually have it set to repeat showing every you know X number of seconds, uh, but I'm just going to show them the pop-up once, and if they're not interested in it, well, hey, I tried. Besides just letting you create your pop-up, Lead Monster actually has some really cool advanced features that I want to show you. So obviously it has statistics where you can track the conversion and performance of your particular pop-up. It has a section where you can get the subscribers if you're using an opt-in pop-up. And uh, just as a side note, this will actually let you add in your own opt-in form code. So it will work with any autoresponder that you have as well. A really cool feature that it has is the A-B split testing. So I can actually create code that will alternate between two different pop-ups. And that way I can see which one is performing best for me. And then focus my efforts on that one that is only performing the best. A-B split testing is a really cool feature because you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You can actually try out two different pop-ups at the same time and see which one's going to work best as opposed to just guessing which is never good. It's never good to just guess. The best way to find out what's going to work best for you is to test. So I was really glad to see that it has the A-B split testing in it. It also has a really cool feature right here, which is the geolocation. And uh, the way this works is I can actually set it so that only people from a specific location will see my pop-up. So if I only want people from the United States to see my pop-up, I can have it set so that only people from my United States can see my pop-up. If I only want people from France or Germany or anything else like that to see my pop-up, I can do that. And what's really cool is I can actually use this to make my pop-up in a language specific. So I can have it in French for French people and then in you know English for everybody else or in German for German people and then in English for everybody else. Or I can even have it multiple, you know, French for French people, German for German people people and English for United States people. There's a lot of functionality that you can add with the geolocation and uh, it, it was a pretty cool little feature that I see that they added and I was glad to see it. So what do I think of Lead Monster overall? Well, it is a very well-designed software. It works excellent. The interface is incredibly easy to use. Uh, I did not watch the videos. I did not watch the, you know, look at the FAQ or check out the quick start at all. And uh, I had no problems using it. It's just that simple to use. But even though it's simple, it's incredibly powerful. It allows you to create all kinds of pop-ups, not just lead capture pop-ups, and it allows you to customize it very easily. It also comes with a ton of templates, over 100 templates, and has advanced features like A-B split testing and the geo-targeting. You know, I keep reviewing 
pop-up software. And the reason I keep reviewing pop-up software is because pop-up software is something that everybody should be using. It doesn't matter if you have a website. If you have a website, you should be having a pop-up to try to capture your visitors to get them on your email list. If you have a, a squeeze page or a sales page, you should have a pop-up to try to capture people before they bounce away. No matter what you're doing online, you should have some way of trying to capture your bounces and trying to capture your random traffic and add them to your list so that way you can market to them later. If you don't do that, you're just throwing away leads and you're just throwing away money. Pop-ups are an excellent and proven way to do this. And Lead Monster is a quality software that allows you to create great looking and highly functional pop-ups with ease.